first one going out. All right, first one's deployed. Getting ready for the second one here. We do a little reset back to the center position. Yeah, it takes about a minute for each one. Looks real smooth, too. They made a couple of tweaks to those rails. If you watched the last one, it had a couple of bumps on the way out, but moving out super clean this time. Yeah, and as noted earlier in the show, but definitely worth repeating, Starship will deploy Starlink's more advanced V3 satellites, adding 60 terabits per second of capacity to the network per launch. Uh, so that's 20 times more than each Falcon 9 launch does today. Just incredible. Yeah, and any, anybody that's been following Starship, you know Starlink's kind of the MVP for these flight tests where it's not only giving us the views we're seeing right now, uh, but also just real-time data through every phase of flight. So we've got a couple dozen cameras on Starship. We've also got a bunch of cameras spread across the globe, including out in the Indian Ocean where we've got our fun buoys floating. There goes another one. And I mean, we're, we're using Starlink to bring all of this together. It's our, our drone shots you see here uh, from our great team down here at Starbase, all connected. So Starlink not only giving us cool views off the planet, but also on the planet, help bring everybody along for all these Starship flights. I think that's number four. Somebody check my map. Yeah, we've got four Starlink terminals on the outside of Starship. He uses that to talk to the Constellation. And through that, we actually get about 120 megabits of bandwidth for our downlink. That's our real-time HD video, all of our telemetry. So it's not just kind of giving us these cool views inside, but it's giving all that engineering data in real time, including re-entry, when normally a plasma layer builds up and blocks you out. Starlink powerful enough of a frequency that we're able to kind of punch through that and still get that live view. Next one out the door. There we go. All right, yeah, Starlink is the world's largest satellite constellation operating in low Earth orbit to deliver high speed, low latency broadband internet. This provides internet access to people around the world many of who have never had connectivity before. Oh. <laughs> right, today Starlink serves more than 150 countries, territories, and other markets with over 7 million active customers in counting. Uh, to meet the global growing demand for high-speed internet, SpaceX expanded its factory over in Bastrop, Texas, which is just outside of Austin, and also introduced Starlink Mini, as well as an upgraded version of the Starlink Standard Kit. Yeah, and one thing to note about this satellite deploy is that they will be following the same suborbital trajectory of the ship. So these dummy sats will not be going in orbit. We do expect them to burn up on re-entry. couple more to go. I promise one of these days we'll deploy in daylight. But we're, we're basically trading deploy in the dark so we get those re-entry views uh, for the daytime.
All right, I think we got one more to go. All right, now with payload deploy complete, Starship will now close its payload door and continue to coast around Earth to the Indian Ocean.